Hi, my name is Jan Maser and I am an artist illustrator. I've done several paper slide projects and I'd like to share with you some of the tricks I use to create my images. So the first thing I'd like to show you how to do is to draw an object by using basic shapes. And you can apply this to just about any object. We're gonna look at this car and break it down to its basic shapes. So we've got a long skinny triangle or rectangle here. We've got a trapezoid looking thing on top and our two wheels. So now I'm gonna put in the window. And the triangle here, the triangle here door and there we go now we're going to go down to the front of the car and we're just kind of kind of put in the details in the front the headlight the fender bumper it doesn't have to be perfect Now we're gonna erase these guide marks and clean it up a little bit. Now this is when I would add some color and I'm gonna show you how I would shade in the car. So you can use markers or crowns. I use colored pencils. I take two shades of the same color. I have a light red and a dark red and I'd shade in the light first and then I would take the dark and I would put in all the um, shadows and the dark places. You could put in some of the details and then I take my pen and I outline the whole image. The next thing I wanna show you how to draw is a figure. I use figures a lot in my paper slides. Um, there are whole courses dedicated to figure drawing and this is a crash course on how to draw what I like to call Stickman 2.0. So here's your regular stick man everybody's familiar with and I'm going to show you how to draw a more dynamic stick man that you can use in your paper slides. So we're going to start with a rectangle, a basic shape. At the corners we're going to bring down his legs with dots at his joints and feet. Do the same thing with the elbow. Now, at this point, we can do the same thing that we did with the car. We can beef it up a little bit, add some details, make him look less stick man. You can erase the guide marks and round him out. And you can put him in different positions, different movements. He's the perfect little paper slide figure. The next thing I wanna show you is how I use colored cardstock to cut out different shapes. So I've taken gray colored cardstock and I cut it out and I put it on my blue sky and then I added my car. And at this point you can add fun little features like this guy. And I like to add a little bit of movement. You can just get really creative with it. So I hope these tips and techniques can help you out in making your own paper slides. And I think the bottom line is just to not worry about it being perfect. As long as you get your ideas across, just have fun. Beep beep.